How to use DocuSign 2024 DocuSign tutorial and how it works. Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about an incredible documentary platform. It's called DocuSign and I'm going to be walking you through all the steps of how it works and how the actual functioning and featuring of this starts off. So to start things off, you're going to come over to DocuSign.com and over here we're going to go over to try for free. Now once you go over to try for free, it brings you to the 30 day free trial, no credit card required which is pretty incredible for 30 days you can use this for free without adding any credit card just add your email and then click on get started now once you do that it basically starts off a trial and now it's going to ask you your first name and last name so we're just going to go ahead and add all those things and click on next now once you click on next it uh, gets the basics out of the way and it brings you to the onboarding process now once you're into the onboarding process let's actually discuss what docusign actually you know offers what it does for you and what the main overview of DocuSign is okay now the main overview of DocuSign is that it's just a great documentary working software out there okay it's amazing to get an overview of your documentary products you can get e-signatures you can get all the things documentary related, electronic signatures, contract lifecycle management, document generation, and all of that. So as you can see over here, it has sent a code to me. So that my code is 456-119. So once we get that code, you're simply gonna click on next. And once you click on next, it's gonna load things in over here. Now it's gonna ask you your password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the password as so, and click on next. Now, once you click on next over here, what's going to happen is that your account is going to be initiated and created so from there as i stated there's a lot of different features with a lot of different pre-built integrations as well that you can use which is pretty incredible right you get a whole suite of applications which is great for automating and connecting the entire agreement process this includes more than a dozen applications for electronic signature document generation contract lifestyle management click wrap arrangements guided forms and a whole lot more and the thing is it's really well built integrations help you work with things such as salesforce microsoft sap google oracle and workday and the different docusign apis actually allow developers to connect and extend electronic signatures and other solutions with tools their organization already uses so in the setup process it's going to ask you your industry you know what industry do you actually work in i'm going to go with student and then it says why did you sign up I want to send a document for signature. I just need to sign the document today, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of things. So I'm going to go with I'm evaluating it for my personal use. Now, it also gives you the sending. So see how DocuSign can save you time collecting signatures. I'm going to skip all that and use the features over here. So first of all, it uh, asks you to drop a dart document. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start, to, you know, actually start working on a document. So first of all, you're going to add a document over here. So we're going to go on upload and I'm going to choose a document. You can also use a template document if you want to go with that, but I'm going to go with this one over here. So let's say we have uh, this document right here. Okay. This is a ticket. Okay. That I had printed for a uh, match. So in this document, you can actually go ahead and add the fintech. So add recipients. You can actually go ahead and add different recipients. So let's say I want to add this person as a signer. Needs to sign. I'm going to go with needs to sign. Customize. You can add an access code, which basically adds a password. You know, it encrypts your document. So that's pretty incredible as well. And uh, you can add more recipients or import a whole bulk list for yourself. So it's pretty incredible. Then you can add a message. So this is the email subject. Then you can write an email message telling people what this document consists of. Click on next. Once you click on next, here is your editor. Okay, so in this editor section, you can actually edit different things. So first of all, let's say I want to add a signature right over here in the corner. Okay, and in the sign section, you can actually add your very own signature. So obviously make sure that this field is absolutely required. Okay. So the person actually goes ahead and signs over here. Then you can also add initials right next to it. Let's say I want the initials over here as well as a required field, add a stamp on the right hand side. So you can basically 
give out different things that you want to add. And these are all obviously standard fields. You can create your own custom field and pre-fill different tools as well. Uh, let's say we want the name over here, full name over here. We want uh, this person's email over here. Then the title, you know, Mr. or Mrs., whatever they are. And you can actually get different types of information out of people. So if you want uh, their phone number, different check boxes, drop downs, radios, drawings, formula, attachments, notes, approval, declining, everything is accessible over here. So once you're done with most of the things, you're going to click on send. And once you click on send, here you go. It says you've sent your first envelope. So it's your turn to sign. So obviously, you're going to go ahead and sign the envelope that you've just sent. Now, the reason for your signature is that you can verify that the envelope that was sent by you was actually, you know, authentic and verified. So, you know, it keeps a good idea of working between two clients or, you know, a worker and their employer. So an electronic signature that you know, we just added is a symbol or other data in digital format that is attached to an electronic document and applied or adopted by a person with an intent to sign. Okay. And e-signatures are much better than physical signatures. In my opinion, they, you know, can't really forge any signature and you can't really get rid of it that easy as well. And you can actually capture consent payments and a whole lot more really easily when it comes to DocuSign. So those are the whole you know, number of features that you can work with on DocuSign. And it's pretty incredible that with these less amount of features, they give us so many things. And I can actually review the document that they sent me on my email. So let me show you what it looks like. So if I actually go ahead and open up DocuSign on a new page, let me show you the review document that they sent me. And obviously, as I said, you can also work with different templates, okay? You can create a template. You can save things as a template. Now, I already created a template, so as you can see, I can save this as a template as well. And uh, over here, as you can see, this is the email that I got. So let's say they're asking me to add a signature over here. So you can just click on signatures, and uh, let's say I'm going to write this, initials over there. You can draw your own signature as well. So let's say I want to add this as my signature. I'm going to click on adopt and sign and look at that. That got added there. Then your initials. Uh, I'm going to go with this initial style, accept initial. There you go. They added initials there. Require title. I'm going to, you know, vice rep. There we go. Then there's the stamp. Okay. You can choose a stamp image for yourself. So as you can see, this is how the whole working uh, ethic is for DocuSign. It's really simple. It's really easy. And it's really fun to work with DocuSign. So that's what DocuSign basically is. It's incredible to handle your documents and implement all the types of working and designing on this in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.